Good evening, and welcome to PSVR News on this evening's edition. PlayStation Visual Arts Service Group looks to be helping with the development of Firewall Ultra. What could that mean? We get an update on the next Exorcist game for PSVR 2. Sony CES event teases a PSVR 2 showing, and Espire 2 may be on the way to PSVR 2. PCGameAbout.com have revealed that Frank Aliberti, a senior artist at PlayStation Visual Art Service Group, is working with First Contact Entertainment on the production of Firewall Ultra. This information was gleaned from Aliberti's Art Station page, where he also reveals he's working on Death Stranding 2 and an unannounced upcoming first person shooter from Sony themselves. PlayStation Visual Art Service Group are known mostly for providing support with animation, motion capture, cinematics, art and scanning. It could be that First Contact Entertainment are using the help of this studio to aid with things like in-game animations or cinematic launch trailers. However, it's also possible they are bringing in some outside talent to help them develop cutscenes in the game as speculated by channel enjoyer Tradition, which could point to a firewall with a more fleshed out story compared to Firewall Zero Hour, which, outside of some character bios and map details, didn't really have much of a focus on story. Producer of The Exorcist VR, Douglas Nabors, has posted an end of year blog where he gives us a brief update on what we can expect from the follow up to the popular Exorcist Legion VR. Our Exorcist correspondent, Jordan B. Peterson, has more. On a cold December day, Douglas Nabors decided to take to his blog and inform us on some updates regarding the Exorcist VR Sin. Updates like the following Sin, which stands for safety in numbers, has grown larger in ambition. This is a co op game that will require you to watch each other's backs. They intend to release Sin in the second half of 2023. Two internal testers complained the game was too scary. Many traditional games claim to be too scary and often fail to deliver. However, having experienced horror in VR myself, including the original Exorcist VR, I can tell you now that I am inclined to believe him. PSVR has always looked on with envy at games like Phasmophobia, where friends can get scared together in a VR environment. But it seems like now we may have something to fill that void in the coming year. This is Jordan Bartholomew Peterson signing off. Back to you in the studio. Sony have confirmed that they will have a presence at the Consumer Electronics Showcase 2023, which takes place on the 5th of January. However, the thumbnail they decided to use for the event depicts a woman wearing a PSVR 2 headset, leading many to speculate that this may be something for PSVR fans to keep an eye on, as we may get more info on the PSVR 2 itself or the software that will be launching for us in the coming year. You can rest assured that this channel will be covering that event live as it happens, so be sure to stick around if you're interested in hearing more from that. Our final story tonight. Digital Load, the developer of Espire 1 and Espire 2, have revealed a roadmap for Espire 2. One of the key milestones on the map is to release on more VR headsets, and while unconfirmed, it's likely PSVR 2 is going to be one of them, so keep an eye out for that. And now for the weather forecast. Moisture buildup is expected over large parts of the entire world for the next couple of months, leading right up to the 22nd of February, where a large release of that moisture is expected to occur in what scientists are calling a moisture storm. The resulting flood is expected to kill many. That's it for me on PSVR News. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shite to help us keep you informed on PSVR News. Thank you for watching, lads and ladies, and stay moist. Until next time.